Hard to believe it's been 28 years since the Queen of Tejano, Selena Quintanilla Perez, was killed. Yeah, many today still mourn her death. Our Jose Ardando spoke with a historian about why Selena's legacy lives on. Even though it's been 28 years since Selena Quintanilla passed away, her legacy lives on through tribute concerts, the music, film, literature, and one historian says much more by different people. Ramon Hernandez is a human encyclopedia. This is the actual recorder, the two-inch recorder that Flaco Jimenez, Freddy Fender, Valerio Longoria, Tony La Rosa, Steve Jordan recorded on. Where's the job? His garage is a museum full of artifacts that date back to the 1920s. A lot of them currently rest at the Whitliff Collections at Texas State University. But the Smithsonian is looking to take over the rest. Patsy Torres. And artists like Ruben Ramos and Selena Quintanilla, who he met in 1985 at Rosedale Park on San Antonio's west side. Uh, she was a pro, 13 years old, and she had, you know, you could tell she was going to go somewhere. Ramon was the first reporter to ever interview Selena and write a story about her. That's when I found out that they didn't have publicity pictures, and I uh, met them in Corpus, and we did their first publicity picture, her and her dad. Ramon became the Quintanilla family's photographer and captured those humble beginnings without charging them a dime. No bus driver. He was a bus driver. I never saw that man sleep. You know, he'd get to the gig, he'd drop him off at the motel, he'd go with the guys and set up, you know, unload the, the truck. I had pictures of him, you know, as a roadie. And they paid their dues. Selena even had to change the batteries out of her own microphone. We're, we're on the road and we stopped to eat at Jack in the Box and she says, come on, take a picture of me. And she just, you know, sits on the, on the medium and starts posing. He also played a huge role in her getting a Coca-Cola endorsement and even stayed in touch with the family after she signed with Capitol Records and eventually won her first Grammy. Unfortunately, this photo at the Billboard Awards would be the last that Selena Ramon ever took before her life was taken away. And I couldn't believe it, you know. She, uh, we just lost Selena. It was like, uh, like uh, feeling a ship sinking. But Ramon seen how her legacy has lived on. 28 years later. Now there's coloring books on Selena. It's all the magazine covers. Uh, then you have uh, the books. They also live on through Ramon's archives, which will be seen soon on an international level. What I can provide is uh, the photographs of uh, the Selena and, the, and Los Dinos that at the point that they were paying their dues, at the time they were playing at uh, the outdoor parks, at the, at the time they were playing at the tiny clubs. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app and tune in to Channel 55 on Dish and DirecTV to get live news coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.